It's time for NASCAR on NBC. Today we return to Talladega and the running of the Alabama 500. I'm Rick Allen, and today eight drivers of the 12 remaining will advance to the next round of the chase. I'm sure the playoff drivers are nervous about getting caught up in the big one, which could end their championship dreams in the blink of an eye. Welcome back to NASCAR Evolution Career Mode. Today we're here at the Alabama 500 at Talladega Super Speedway. In the last race, Leia Walker scored a 10th place finish, but that wasn't the big story. The big story from that race was Michael Annett collecting an unexpected win at Kansas. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I couldn't believe when Annett won the race. But he finally became a winner in NASCAR through um, unexpected odds. I think the pit stops were what set, were what made the difference. And Michael Lannon happened to be out in front and got the win. So add this to Casey Mears' win at Michigan as one of our one of the surprise winners that this race set, this season has provided us in Leia Walker's rookie year. And uh, Leia Walker was just as surprising with her two wins, and she's looking to get a third this season. Now Michael Annett is running 32nd, where he really should be, honestly, but honestly got lucky um, on that race and able, able to win the race. So I wonder if there's going to be another unique winner here at Talladega, or this is going to be another race that a chaser locks his or her spot into the next round. This is, however, the last race uh, of the round of 12. Four races left and one and two rounds to go. So. Things are on the, a lot of st a lot of drivers are going to be battling for those eight positions to advance to the next round. Leia Walker out of the chase, but she still could get a good finish out of this one. And oh, a little ugly there between her and Landon Castle, but able to keep her car running. Twenty seventh place, Leia Walker has done well. And this is what I hate about Talladega: drivers are pulling away already. That's just not how Talladega is supposed to be but we're, we're gonna have to deal with that. That's what I'm talking about when these drivers pull away at super speedways. You don't see that in um, in the races, honestly, but in this race, well, in NASCAR Evolution, you do. Hopefully they patch this someday to make the racing closer at Talladega and Daytona because it really should be much closer than that. But now she's 23rd, looking to get up to 22nd. Trying to get as much drafting as she can. Trying to get by Ryan Newman and get that draft. And gonna do so great doing it. Here comes Leia again. Now she's up to 22nd. Can she clear um, the 31? Not yet. Not gonna quite clear Leia. Not gonna quite clear him yet. Here we go again. Oh man, very close. Able to survive and able to get through. Matt Kenseth, now 21st. 20th for Paul Menard. Paul Menard running in the top 20. 10 laps to go. Paul Menard goes down low. And Leia Walker is going to have to try on that high line. Trying to get that draft as much as possible. Here she comes, going to draft up, get in the top 20, and she makes it through. So right now, things are going pretty good for Leia Walker, running in the top 20. So not a bad day for Talladega, it's not bad. The question is though, will she be able to hang on tight? Now McDowell goes by, gets the 17th. And Jamie McMurray's up next on the radar. So she's really gaining ground on the field. And she's done pretty well. Running 16th. Trying to get 15th away now. Amarola has the 15th spot. We'll see if uh, Leia Walker can get sneak her way into the top 15. Because the top 15 finish is better here at, here at this track. Still trying to clear the one. Can't quite get there yet. There. Oh boy. Trying to clear her way to the front. Now the Still one there. machine goes up high. The car has 
Oh wow, one driver to pet, and Amarola's gonna have to pet. Oh wow, Amarola takes a pet stop unexpectedly. I don't expect to see pet stops here today, but Amarola had to come down pit road. It must have been a problem. And Leia just can't quite pass Jamie McMurray. Well, that's sad, but she's gonna try to work her way up to the front. Now in the top 15, trying to get in the toy and get to the 15th spot again. Here comes Leia, gonna try up high. And Leia Walker has no drafting up, so it's not helping her out at all. Still there. Nope, not gonna get there. 15th place is Jamie McMurray. Still, I know I've said that many times, but well, there's not much racing after this. Honestly, there really isn't a, nothing much to show for right now. So, Leia's just gonna have to play conservative now and trying to block that line. Seven laps to go. McMurray, 15th. And, uh, well, there's nothing much to say about this other than Leia Walker just trying her best, trying to finally get into the top 10. If she gets in the top 10 of Talladega, that'd be amazing. Now she's tr getting passed by Paul Menard. Menard's gaining up. Could he get popped by Leia Walker? Not yet. He doesn't have drafting help either, so there's nothing he could do as well. And uh, Leia Walker just hanging on real tight, just trying to get that bottom line. She's got no drafting help at all, but she's just trying to draft Jamie McMurray for any speed. And uh, maybe she could finally get by the one one day. Six laps to go. And now we have Stenhouse Jr. running 14th, McMurray 15th, and uh, let's see if McMurray can get by the 17th. The looks of it, he might try to do that here. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see if he'll try to do that on right, right now. No, not going to get there. Won't get there in time. Oh, wait a minute now. Leia Walker is on the bumper of the one. So this might be the chance. Might be the chance that Leia's looking for. Here she comes. Still there. No. Not there yet. She lost a bit of the drafting help there. Coming to five laps to go. Jamie McMurray trying desperately to protect his position from Leia Walker. And Ricky Stanhouse Jr. running 14th as well. Now let's see if Leia can get there on that low line. Trying hard. Let's see if she could do it here. And right now they're a little even. Could she get the drafting help right here? Could she do it? Oh, well, now they're side by side, getting the drafting. Getting the drafting help, getting that much needed advantage for Leia. Stenhouse Jr. goes down low. That's where Leia's going. Oh, lost a little draft. Leia, and now McMurray has the advantage. Coming to four laps to go here at Talladega. And, uh, wow, looked, looked like for a second there she was going to go down the uh, below. She was going to go below the apron on the yellow line. You can't do that here. But she is able to stay uh, in the f in, uh, in front. McMurray goes 15th. Sandhouse goes 14th. And look at this. Looks like Leia might finally get through the one. She does. Finally, she passes the one. Finally gets McMurray. Stanhouse Jr. runs 14th. Now goes down below. Ricky Stanhouse Jr. going to block Leia with just, I think, three laps to go. And there will be three to go at the stripe here at Talladega. So the question is, will Leia Walker get another position? Top 15, though, still not bad. They're really too far out of Trevor Bain. I'm not sure if they'll make an impact at those um, 
with those cars. And so far, this has entirely been caution free, which is uncharacteristic of super speedways. I thought we'd see the big one here today, but apparently not. Unless if you were the one that causes the big one, then we're not going to see a big crash here today. 14th is um, the 17, trying to gain ground. Let's see if uh, she'll do it. Here she comes. Still there. Trying to gain positions. We'll see if that is the case. A uh, little slip up there. Two laps to go. You go. And now the 27, gaining ground. One machine as well. Now the one goes up. One trying to make it through. One trying to get revenge on the 28. And it looks like it's not going to be nowhere. No one's going to be near Stenhouse Jr. at this point. So this is going to be the big battle Leia is going to have to watch out for. Still there. Clear high. And she does get through the one now. So she stays up in the top 15. Here we go. We're coming to the white flag with one lap to go. And we'll see if Leia Walker could keep her top 15 position here at Talladega. Maybe even go up to 14th. We'll see. Here we go. White flag is going to come out. Last lap. And Ricky Stenhouse still keeping 14th. Looks like nobody else is going to be threatening the 28 at all, so they're just going to keep the way it is. That's pretty much it, so unless if Leia Walker gets a gain on Stenhouse, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the race to the line. Final turn, gain a little bit on Stenhouse, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. And that's gonna be it. Leia Walker gets in the top 15. Not a bad day here at Talladega. One more chance to get Stenhouse. Can she do it here? Nope. Won't get Stenhouse. But still gets a 14th, a 15th place finish. Not too bad. Pretty good race here, Talladega. Uh, pretty good. And we reached 15,000 fans, so that was a positive. So let's see who won here at Dega. Who won the Alabama 500. And let's go through who uh, ever finished the race. Amarola didn't finish the race, unfortunately. Kevin Harvick won. That's his fourth chase win of the season. Wow. It's just He's just been on fire in this race uh, for the chase. Four wins now in the chase. Incredible. I mean, he is going to be the favorite to win the championship here today. We earned money from all three of our secondary sponsors today, and uh, we did pretty good. Let's share the let's show you. Eight wins. Kevin Harbrick. Eight wins this season. Incredible. Eight wins. Even in realistic life, that would not be possible. Eight wins. That's like Jeff Gordon level. So Kevin Harvick has just dominated this season like he's competing for a title, and he is competing for a title. Let's show you who advances to the uh, next round. And we got some new sponsorships. We got a new main sponsor coming up, and we're going to go with Dustless Blasting because they stick with Toyota. We're going to show you who advanced in our next race, and we will see you at Martinsville.